it's so great to meet you. I'm Bonnie. I'm speaking uh, with you from Toronto, Canada. How are you? Good, good, good to good to talk to you. Good to talk to you. Congratulations on this. My God. Okay, before we get into the Continental, like, I don't know, how big of a John Wick fan were you going into this? I was a big one. I had watched all the John Wick films. I had discovered John Wick, obviously. I mean, I loved the very first one when he actually, I love dogs. <laughs> just the I fact know, that right? I know. I'm, big dogs. I'm a big dog lover. So just the fact that he, he goes out on this revenge yeah. spree, this killing spree, just because of his dog, I can understand. So Exactly, I, exactly. I remember seeing that movie for the first time. I actually did the interviews for that. And it was, the, and I thought, well, A, there's something special here, but B, Okay, yeah, his wife passed away, but never mess with a guy's dog. Yeah, never mess with his dog and the puppy on top of it. So a puppy on top yeah. of that, exactly. Yeah. Well, look it's where right. look where it's led everything, yeah. and now we've got this phenomenal backstory. And you, Charlotte, who've been work, you know, you've been in this business for many, many years, worked on some pretty spectacular things, including oh, a little show, you know, a little Lord of the Rings, you know. But this is a completely different vision. When you went in, did you sit, first of all, because you're doing the second episode and then you've got, you know, Albert's episodes one and three, do you and Albert kind of sit down before you get shooting and have a vision together? How does that work? I definitely, I mean, uh, very early on, I mean, we spoke, we, we met on Zoom and very early on, he'd sent me a, a list of all the tracks, all the songs from the 70s that were in his head. And he had prepared quite a specific style book of lighting of the way he 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 felt the show what, what was good for the show so so that's what you get very early on and then when I arrived in Budapest obviously everybody was very busy but they were working on the first episode so uh, nobody really had time to take care of me so I ended up with the production designer right. and he was uh, he was uh, amazing because you know all the people I, you work with on a show like that they've already wor worked with Albert so they're like an extension of him Right. They also know what he likes, what he goes for, what he wants, what he's prepared, what he said, because he wouldn't have time to sit with me all day and and to go over what I was doing. So he, so you you inherit. It's always like this when you come into a big show, a new show. Uh, even even I, when I've done the first episodes, I I leave the technicians and they continue with the other directors. So they become an extension of you. Right. So the first person I worked with was uh, Drew Bolton. He was a production designer. We knew each other from the man in the high castle. We had met in Vancouver. And um, and he obviously had done all the sets for night one. And he was working on night two when I got there. So he took me around and drove around with me for for a week looking at everything. And he and look at new locations. So he would go into it and do drawings and things. Cool. So, so that was my first. And then when Albert finished shooting night one, he was Albert was started prepping the third one, and I uh, got his DP back because the DP who was working with Albert on night one, Paul Ulrich, who was yeah. Oxted, who is this Nor fantastic Norwegian DP, starting prepping with me. So he and I sat down and we went through shot listing and deciding uh, how to do the scenes. And my episode was obviously different too because it was more drama, more character driven, and yes. emotional than the others. So oh, I had, yeah. I have yeah. to work within that and to find a way to make that not too conventional and to find an interesting way of shooting all these dialogue scenes. So well, that was for sure. But all yeah, but also Charlotte too, and I wanted to point out as well that in your episode, the women really shine. Like we yeah. have some kick ass <laughs> action scenes. Yeah. From the women, I love that. I mean, come that on, my right? favorite. I oh, put. I mean, I, I that was definitely the script. So they would, they did a lot, but at the same time, I, I'm sure I pushed for the woman to do as much as I could because I love the woman doing. Be, I love strong women in films. So, so exactly, that, yeah. But how did you? You know, how does that? How is your influence on them as opposed to them working with somebody like Albert? Um, you know, I, I'm just curious. Do you take is a different approach when you have a female director? Does it matter? I don't know, actually. I have to answer. I had, I mean, we had Lornel Stovall, who was the second unit director, who did the great yeah. job choreographing and preparing everything. And he's also very good because he adds drama in the action scenes. So that was very helpful. And I think a lot of it was in the scripts that I got. I heard the scripts, obviously. And I'm sure that I, I since I had 
more more drama and more character driven scenes there was some action and some very strong moments with these women so i had that and maybe uh and i definitely pushed for uh, i can't remember anymore but I, I i'm sure a lot of it was in script yeah it's it's brilliant it really really was and and as you say i mean it really does build up to some major drama um you know working with somebody like mel gibson um and what we see he what he delivers in that episode uh you know jaw dropping for you as a director to watch this guy who's been in movies for a million years and to work with him and then what happens in this episode yeah <laughs> Ooh, yes yes <laughs> and it was also i had to cast the cellist and then so i say who in the world is he gonna is he gonna do this to so uh, <laughs> i don't know how much i can talk about everything but you no, and, and don't and don't please don't because it's a great surprise but it like i said to just but to watch him like how do you direct somebody like mel gibson you know, yeah, it's crazy. No, yeah, he, he, I mean, in a way, because he's so good at what he does, both acting and directing, yeah. he sort of understands everything. He, I mean, you hardly have, you don't need to explain anything to him. No, he, you, no you can, you don't. it's like, it's like you, you change a few nuances, maybe you, yeah. you, you tell him to slow down or go a little faster. That's about it. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's just, he knows editing, he knows everything. Yeah, no. And also he's generous. He's very generous with his time and uh, he helps the younger actors. So he's there for them. Oh, that's under that's awesome. That's good to hear that. Um working on some of these sets too, like even just that exterior of the Continental stuff, like what it, it must be so wonderful as a director to be able to, you know, play in a world like this and and give the fans this backstory, but yeah. also make it so stylish the way it looks on can on screen is just it's beautiful yeah no i think it look i mean that's again it's true it's the way i mean obviously it's inspired by the real hotel it's just slightly different i think and uh but uh, it's amazing and also what they done i we have to speak about john decker who is, was the vfx supervisor but because he was able to integrate his effects his visual effects in a very organic manner into story it doesn't look like visual effects but it was he added some backgrounds and he did some to them and and I don't think you can really read I mean nobody sees the difference and he yeah. did because we obviously were creating New York in Budapest right exactly what do you look for now Charlotte when you get scripts and stuff I mean you you've you've really done the gamut in your career is there anything now that just super challenges you or something that you look for when you take something on yeah I, I look to I mean I I like to do things that are different yeah. I'd love to do a war movie Oh, uh, I'd love to do a big war movie at this point. Oh, I, I, I would like to see your vision of a war movie. Wow, would that ever be amazing? Well, listen, congratulations on this. I, your your episode just really is, like I said, kick ass. It's so good, but the drama is just beautiful. You've done a wonderful job on this. So thank you so much. I really appreciate your time today, and best of luck with everything. Thank you, thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye, Charlotte. Bye. Thank you so much.